Okay, so for the end of this video, me and Dan are gonna do something kind of fun. We actually got a live volunteer to volunteer, I guess, as a target in, in this little challenge we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of a handicap since I've been shooting longer than Dan, so I'll be about 10 yards farther than him. But uh, yeah, we'll give the rules when we're down range. You ready, buddy? Hold the entire time. Yeah. All right, we doing all the set? All okay, the so it's going to be, huh? We doing all the arrows? Three arrows. So three arrows, three arrows whoever gets the three deadliest shots on this bear. So headshots, I guess we could say headshots are worth uh, 10 points. You should take a permanent marker and draw a heart on them. Yeah, head, heart, head shots, then if we get like some body shots, it'll be worth five, and then arm shots are worth one. I'll leave it to Coots to add, the, uh, add up the points. We'll add up the points at the end, so three arrows. Three arrows. Or if you want to do, do you want to do five arrows? That's fine. Okay, let's do five arrows. Like there we go, so Dan gets the first five arrows. If this goes arrows. through his head, it's gonna go right, right he has, through. He has 10, we don't know how this is going to react when we hit it. It might actually just bounce off, so I don't know. But Dan is at 10 yards for his five arrows. I'll be at uh, about 18 or 20 yards, but here we go. I think it's fine. going to be fine to pierce, but let's see. That's what I think. I'm not the expert, though. Right. Oh, oh, headshot! <laughs> headshot for Dan. Poor Barry. That's 10 points. <laughs> I, I know shot will be will be 50 points. Yeah, that's the that's the bullseye on yeah, his head. <laughs> oh man. That's gonna be hard to get it to stick in that part of his nose too, so. Oh! Almost an ten, eye shot. Another 10 points for Dan. If you get in between the eyes, that's also 20. Yeah. Or 15, let's say 15, 15 between, the eyes. between the eyes. I like how we're making up the point system as we go. No, I, well, as long as I agree with it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm at 20 points. Not doing bad at all. He missed an arrow. Biff. Oh I man. Gah. That's not good because you could hit them all. I don't know. I'm a look quite a bit further I need, back. I need some extra points to catch up now, even knowing you're not even going yet. All right. Fourth arrow. Here we go. Oh, another headshot. 30 points for Dan. Last arrow. Here we go. Let's see if he can capitalize. I got to. I gotta get some extra points, or otherwise I'm screwed. If you hit this, I have to. I can't miss like one. If that's I'm true, you are a lot farther. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. Oh, oh skimmed! Oh no! Look at it. There's a mark on his head from that. Oh wow! Look at that. But there we go. There's Dan's three shots. Do I get any points thing. for damage? You no, get a point. I don't. <laughs> If you skim it, yeah, maybe a point might work for skimming, okay. but that's not going to make any sort of difference. Okay, now it's my turn. So I'm standing where I was standing when I was shooting. And that's where Coots is shooting from. All the way down there, about 20 yards from the target, I was 10 yards from the target. So let's go over here and see how Coots is doing. Coots, how confident are you right now? Hi. Barry, are you ready? Yes! Yes! Uh oh, you had a pretty good Barry voice there. Okay. You guys friends? Maybe. All right. Look at the stand. What did you get, 30 points? Yes, sir. Okay. 31. 31. We're going to count the skim as one. Okay. It bounced off his head. It bounced off his head. Coots has one point. Now, that was kind of a weird drawback. You didn't go like you usually do. How come that was? Because now... Miss again! He needs to make the next three. Where's your tab? Oh, okay, you're wearing a tab. It looks like you were. Coots needs to make the next three, either that or he needs to some uh, uh, between the eyes shots. There was a hit in the head above so the right eye. What about the one that bounced off him? Like it hit him in the middle of the head and bounced off. I don't know. Distances are factoring in here. I guess so. I didn't even look, I didn't see it. Ooh, Whoa. on the cheek. He's about to fall over. He's getting a little woozy from all the arrows be, he's taken. I, so I have 22 points right now. Because I, I, I guess it depends on how we count the one that bounced off. Like if we count that as a point or not. Bounce off should maybe be five. 
Okay, so I have 26 points. There you go. So you I have to hit the body. I might go for the safe body shot to right, tie us it, up. Do what you want. Well, you, oh, yeah, we would be tied. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. This is where it gets brutal. It bounced off, ladies and gentlemen. That means Coots has, well, that was five points, so we're tied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how the bounce off is the same as, like, hitting. I mean, but that, that makes sense, though, because just because you're far away doesn't mean you should be penalized it's for it. trauma. Yeah, those two arrows bounced off, and I got them twice in the head. Man, look at, hold on, first of all, I want to see, look at that wound. Look at the, like, the swelling that is happening right there, the discoloration. He's starting to bruise there from the shots. Tiebreaker, sudden death. What are we doing here, Coots? Come up with a sudden death round. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing. Okay. We're going to get one shot each until somebody hits Rusty. First to hit Rusty wins. Mm. Like, no, like, if I hit him, you have a chance to oh, hit. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. And if you don't and hit whoever him... whoever misses first, so it's whoever misses first. Well, it's really, like, once, once somebody hits, that initiates the next person has to hit it. Yeah, oh, otherwise... Because if I miss down. on the first shot, then... Then if I hit it, then... Yeah. Okay. All right, but we're going to take turns, so I'm going to go first. So Dan's first. So if Dan hits it, I am forced to hit it, otherwise I am disqualified. And I win. And Dan wins. And then if he misses and I hit, I win. That's not going to happen, though. But if we just go back hitting this thing over I'm a and natural over at changing fates. You said so yourself. Yeah, you are. Can you change Rusty's fate? God. He missed. All right, Kutz's turn. This is a very scary shot. You know, I've, I've gone through this once at a tournament before. It was a shoot off. It was actually a money shoot, and uh, I won, I think, 50 or $70. You won $70? Shot. Yeah. Nice. It was like a bunch of guys that were shooting with me, like some, I was 16, and all these guys were like 20 to 40 years old shooting against me, and I won. Whoa, I, I bet you them showed up. them. I showed them. That was Stupid jerks. show you. I'm older than you, so. Oh, he hit him. He hit him, ladies and gents. Let's see. Where did he hit him? Oh, he hit him near where I hit him before. Right in the skull. Okay, so I kind of mixed up Dan's rules here. I and, was saying, uh, yeah, yeah. Before I was saying. As soon as someone first initially hits it, then it initiates. <laughs> Next uh, person has the right to defend it. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Changing fates. There we go, we're changing some fates here. I hit it right in the skull. Let's see if Dan can hit him. So that way this remains interesting. Alright, here we go. Oh in right between, between the, eyes. the eyes. Oh, oh man. man, should we just leave him in them? Yeah, let's just leave him in. Alright, there's that. Well, I was saying, like, I imagined it like now we're squared off. Now you can still miss it, unless that's gonna. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you not think that's right? I think yeah. that's dumb. Whatever keeps it going, it's fun. All right. So what we're gonna do is if now it's reset. It's reset right now. So if Coots misses, it's fine. If we could keep missing till the cows come home, <laughs> it's until somebody hits it. We'll once again initiate the have to hit it thing. Coots and Dan's archery game. We have to Terrible rules. Dead. Let's go. He hit him. Barely. He hit him. That Down at the, the foot. He yeah. got rusty in the foot. Hopefully I don't get the donkey arrow. I'm gonna shoot this. <laughs> I'm psyching myself out right now. It's not good. It's competition. It is competition. I'm a novice, damn it. I just started today. <laughs> Take a chunk off his head? <laughs> wow. Look at that. I barely. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, Dan just. I destroyed Rusty's, Rusty's head. Flip some pancakes out here. Get this focus. Probably too close. Yeah, you are too close. There we go. All right. Well, that means Coots wins. Woohoo! Even with the handicap, Coots we have to go still find that it. arrow now. You yeah, know that, right? I do. I don't yeah, know where that went. That bounced. That could have gone on wads. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode or first part of this uh, Kucha School of Archery. Uh, I hope you guys have learned something. If you guys got a bow and you're utilizing this, that's awesome. Uh, I wouldn't even be opposed if you guys would post, you know, video responses if you want me to try and critique you a little bit because I'd be totally up for that and I'll help you guys out as much as I can. 
Um, but other than that, just watch what I do with Dan because you know he's a beginner too, and you guys are probably beginners as well. So it should be fun. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this, Coots. Thank you very much for. Uh, no, I'm not taking that. Keep them on. We're we're Archer brothers. We gotta. Anyway, Dan also has archery videos going up, so you will find the links to those not only in the description, but at the end of the video here. So, thanks for watching. He deserves it. He was the one that forced kicked. Whatever happened to him? Like we never, like he never got detained or anything. He just got knocked out. 